Hello dear T friends from around the world and welcome to a new T class with me Stefan Erler, the founder of the T Masters blog and the T-Masters.com T boutique. I'm in Taiwan and uh, it's our weekly T class. I'm back from uh, Shanin Shi and uh, I wanted to post my impressions, uh, give you some feedback about this trip. I think you all already saw my uh, short video I posted uh, on Instagram, where you can also follow me, and uh, on uh, Facebook. I was uh, live drinking uh, Shanin Shi Oolong in Shanin Shi uh, with this very, very same uh, chabu, the same cups and the same tea in a few moments. Uh, so I wanted to share with you uh, this, uh, this moment and uh, there was a Wi-Fi connection uh, uh, in, uh, in that area so I, uh, I was uh, really fortunate to be able to connect to, um, uh, to the internet to let you uh, ex experience with me the tea from Shaninshi in Shaninshi. Now today we are back in, uh, in Taipei uh, and uh, but we are still drinking the, the same tea as uh, I had uh, on that day but I wanted to give you some feedback on um, how the harvest went last week we discussed about the situation in Alishan and uh, now today I wanted to uh, give you a few words about um, Shalinshi because the harvests they happen um, in spring from the lowest elevation to the highest elevations so Ali Shan uh, harvest were finished last week and uh, Shanin Shi uh, harvest they had started uh, around the 21st, 22nd of uh, April and they finished kind of on um, Thursday the, the 5th uh, when, I, uh, when I was there. Uh, that was, uh, I saw very few um, uh, plantations still uh, in need of harvest and I, but I did, and, and I saw uh, several harvests going on. I took some uh, pictures uh, that I will also share uh, on my blog and uh, maybe on Instagram also uh, in the coming days. Uh, and um, the situation in Shaninshi was very different from um, Alishan because Taiwan, um, as you know, is a subtropical island. Huh? And um, as we head into the warmer uh, season, the, uh, from April to May and then June, the weather gets warmer and warmer moisture increases and also the chances of rain and this is what happened in uh, Shanlin Shi during uh, these last two weeks is that they first started with um, uh, very sunny uh, very hot days and uh, so uh, until April 30th May 1st they had uh, quite good weather uh, um, but very hot. So actually, in uh, and then on um, May second, it was uh, there was uh, quite some rain apparently because uh, one of the samples I tried from that day was uh, quite bitter and really not uh, what you want from uh, your high mountain oolong. Uh, this really uh, was e easy to discard. And uh, then on. Um, uh, and then it became actually cold with this uh, uh, scattered rains and uh, there was also a change in uh, overall temperatures in Taiwan, they dropped. Uh, so actually, usually you start uh, low and you end uh, high, but this year in, Ta in uh, Shanin Shi it was actually the opposite. Uh, you st uh, started quite high. Uh, it was warm in the, um, uh, the April 25 to, to 30 and then actually the, the temperature dropped uh, with, uh, the, with the risk of um, and uh, actually the chance of real, real ha rain happening um, and the tea that I chose then that I finally selected was from May 3rd when the uh, temperature was still quite low but um, much less rain and the quality was uh, really very good and this one 
uh, I chose because uh, it reminded me the most about um, uh, even higher elevation because of this lower temperature in the air created the same conditions as in uh, Lishan or Daoling where the temperature is uh, even colder during the day. So the, um, uh, the temperature uh, of this uh, day on uh, May 3rd was uh, really the, the came closest to, um, to Lishan and therefore the, the tea also comes closest to, to this taste of very high mountain with very, very cold uh, temperatures. Um, the, what else can we say about it? Oh, yeah, actually, uh, according, uh, speaking of moisture and of rain, uh, one farmer told me in Shanlin Shi, we have also a, a very big difference between uh, morning and afternoon for the um, uh, for the weather. Morning usually is very bright sunshine, and in the afternoon, uh, fog and um, clouds uh, rise up. And uh, the uh, the farmer says, actually, even if it's not raining, when you pick. Uh, tea in the afternoon, uh, it can be uh, the, the, the leaves can come back very moist, uh, full of water because of this fog that uh, comes up all of a sudden uh, around two o'clock, and um, and this can really uh, alter the quality of your leaves. Huh? Well, remember. Uh, to process uh, the leaves from the field mm, to um, the dry state, uh, it, it's about uh, drying the leaves. And uh, so the drier you can pick the, the leaves, the less work you have uh, to do. And therefore, the, uh, the more the original taste you are, you are getting. Huh? It's uh, like when you um, eat a raw fish, you get the, the most original taste and uh, if you are making uh, f your fish fully cooked, then the, 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 the taste has changed the most. So it's a bit the same with, uh, with leaves. If you are able to pick them when uh, the temperatures are highest and uh, it's um, uh, very dry in the day, this is when you have the least transformation to do to the leaves and where you are able to um, taste the more, most original taste. So this explains why uh, there's also not only um, a matter of uh, which day was uh, a good day, but also which uh, time in the day is uh, is good. Uh, so it's always better to uh, to harvest, especially in Shanxi, uh, earlier than uh, than later. But this year, as I explained already, with uh, Alishan, due to the travel restrictions in um, due to the COVID in Taiwan, there is still a very large shortage of uh, manpower for um, leaf picking. And this explains that um, uh, and, uh, all the farms they are competing with uh, for a very limited pool of, uh, of labor, and um, they don't get enough uh, labor to to come to pick the leaves. And um, so uh, one of my farmers told me, oh, uh, he was expecting uh, a larger harvest, but because of labor shortage, he was not able to pick as many leaves as. Uh, as he hoped uh, possible. So, uh, and uh, apparently this has caused a lot of distress for him. Uh, he was under a lot of pressure, I think, to uh, to make this harvest possible. It's uh, really the most important uh, harvest in this in the year. Uh, he, he also told me uh, his son also told me that um, the spring harvest is almost twice as much as the winter harvest. Uh, in at least in his field, so on the first day of the harvest, uh, the farmer, the, the father, he experienced uh, heart problems. Uh, I guess due to all the stress with the labor, with um, uh, how important uh, picking it is, uh, with the weather uh, that was uh, turning cold and uh, and wet at that time. So he went to um, uh, to the hospital to uh, had uh, to have uh, three dents inserted. So he's fine, and uh, actually he was still managing the the business from the from the hospital. I told him to to take it easy that uh, his son can do a good job, but um, just to 
Mm. For me, it's really no uh, um, no surprise that uh, this his heart uh, accident would happen on um, on that day of the of the harvest because it's really maximum pressure for uh, for him in terms of uh, uh, everything that needs to be arranged uh, and all the uh, risks, the challenges due to the weather, la labor sh shortage, etc., etc. So um, from from him, I got to to, to try uh, three um, uh, different samples: May first, May second, May uh, and May third. So May uh, May first was uh, kind of okay. Um, I still like it. The leaves were, did not look very nice, but. Um, uh, it was actually a little bit missing. I also compared it with last year's uh, Shanlin Shi, which was, uh, which is still a very fragrant, very flowery, and very different from this year's. Um, then the second day was um, uh, really too bitter um, due to the rain, and the third I liked very much because it had uh, this very cold feeling, uh, reminding me much more of uh, Li Shan or Dao Ling than of uh, Shanlin Shi, and it had also a lot of um, aftertaste. Then, having liked this one, I went to compare it uh, to other teas in uh, in Shanlin Shi from other farmers, and. Um, uh, especially from uh, a farmer that is uh, doing um, Dongding style uh, competition, uh, Oolong for the Lugu competition. And um, his style is a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more oxidized so that he can uh, better roast his teas. So uh, a style a bit different, it was much more um, how you say smooth, but uh, without um, the oomph factor, without um, uh, this very pleasant freshness from the high mountains. Um, very sweet, uh, uh, very round, but um, without much relief, and um, maybe a very good um, base to do um, Dong Ding competition oolong, but. Um, uh, I so I remained and uh, then chose this uh, uh, Mesa the uh, tea that I'm going to to make what? right now. Start to to be thirsty. Okay, th the leaves here are a bit um, small because they are the bottom of the pack. I I've packed the, the leaves yesterday and uh, let's preheat first. Oh, actually there is tea in this one. Let's uh, change. Oh yes, I had it yesterday. That's why I'm still ha having some up. Then let's take this teapot which I had in Shanin Shi. As you can see, it's May, it's starting to get hot in Taiwan. I need le one less cup with this teapot. And um, yeah, uh, oh, while I'm waiting for the water to get ready, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can start to type them now live on Facebook and I will uh, answer them at the end of the uh, of my broadcast. If you have uh, questions also on uh, YouTube you can also type them uh, there. Uh, I will try to get back to, to them but on um, Facebook the uh, nice thing if you are following me live I get to answer your questions right away uh, at the end of the broadcast. So please use this Opportunity. Okay. And a little. Okay. 
Also, don't forget to give me a like if you enjoy this show, this video. It helps as uh, it helps the software to know that uh, people like you are interested and um, like this more T friends are going to get to see this. say about these leaves mm, really um, a very very fresh lavender vetiver this kind of uh, high uh, pitched high um, note of um, of flowers uh, and uh, very delicate very very cool also cool fresh flowery note so you actually you saw me in uh, exactly the same setup uh, on Shaninshi uh, the same teapot everything the same uh, except I did not have a um, wastewater bowl since uh, this is one more thing to take and when I'm making tea outdoors I can simply throw away the tea uh, next to me uh, on the tea field, so I, I usually save on this piece of equipment. It's always one less thing to carry, especially sometimes you have to carry your tea equipment uh, for for a while before you can uh, make the tea, so every gram counts. Okay, very intense color, very clear. We can see the trichromes on the uh, on top. And here you go. Mm. I get the typical um, sweetness and then the um, creamy buttery feeling. Mm. And it coats the the palate, tickles the tongue. Really very very light. Mm. And um, very delicate, very nasty. My uh, spring twenty twenty two. Shanlin Shi Ching Ching Wulong from May 3rd and uh, I will have it up on my website very very shortly I hope uh, and uh, I uh, it's a bit um, it's yeah it, uh, it's a bit different from uh, last year so if you want to um, also to uh, compare with uh, last year I think it's quite interesting to um, to see that uh, every year will be uh, uh, there are different conditions actually every day there are different conditions and there were uh, really very big different conditions before May 1st and after May 1st much more sun and uh, higher oxidation level in the before and uh, much cooler notes much more freshness and lightness uh, after that uh, provided the um, 
uh, the tea was uh, picked before, uh, not on a moment when it was uh, raining. This one, actually, the, this uh, third day was um, lowest production uh, in the of this tea field. So I think it's um, uh, even more precious for that. Mm, very light. Everything I like about um, High Mountain Oolong and it really almost reminds me much more of um, dialing uh, than uh, the Shannon Chi. Okay, thank you very much for watching and uh, I say bye bye. See you next week with another tea class and uh, we'll see what uh, comes up next. Bye bye.